Meantime, Tesla's Cybertruck is hitting roadblocks. According to the Wall Street Journal, the EV maker is delaying deliveries for its newest vehicle and not telling buyers why. It's unclear how many buyers have been affected by the delays, but it just adds to the growing list of concern for Tesla investors. Tesla shares closing down nearly 3% today. The stock just a hair above a $500 billion market cap amid growing struggles across the entire EV landscape. Both Lucid and Rivian hitting all-time lows this week. Tough out there for everybody in this space. With me tonight for more on Tesla's latest stumble is Gerber Kawasaki president and CEO Ross Gerber. Ross, thank you for joining Last Call. Your firm has been divesting out of Tesla recently. First of all, tell me how much Tesla you own right now. Um, currently, we own a little over 300,000 shares um, when we update our 13F, and we were as high as 500,000 shares at the top in the middle of last year of our position. So we paired our position fairly substantially. So you've got tens of millions of dollars at stake. You're, you're not cheering yeah. this stock on the way down. Obviously, no. you know, you don't want to lose that money, uh, but you have been a Tesla skeptic. Is there anything out there that would make you start to, to buy again and start to believe the narrative again? Yeah, I, you know, first of all, I'm not a Tesla skeptic. I'm a, a huge fan of the company, and I love the products. I think they're the best cars on the road. I'm a skeptic of Elon Musk's management style at okay. this point. Fair point. So, you know, what got us, what got Tesla to be as successful as it is, was a very focused CEO who worked very hard for Tesla. But ever since he's left Tesla and bought Twitter, um, basically nobody's been running the ship, and the ship is clearly having a lot of issues. So let's ask about some of those issues. I mean, Cybertruck is an interesting one. It's such an unusual looking vehicle. I mean, to put it nicely, I guess, uh, it's a weird car. And a lot of people yeah. said, you know, this is either going to be just a huge hit. There's just buyers out there that we, we haven't identified in the car market before who are going to love this thing and they're going to flock to it and it's going to turn the stock around completely. And other people said this is like an Edsel, you know, coming down the road at you. How do you think that's shaking out? I mean, obviously, we see, we've seen some mechanical difficulties, too. But is, right. the, is the Cybertruck living up to the hype? Well, we have one Cybertruck at the office. And, and I'm actually one of those, those customers that ordered a Cybertruck. I paid for the Cybertruck, and they took my money. And I've tried calling Tesla several times to see what's going on with my truck. And, and I really no can't get a straight answer from anybody. But the truck we have, we've had a pretty good experience with. You drive a Cybertruck down the street, children are like running after you, staring and pointing. The, I've never seen the consumer excitement around a product like, like Cybertruck, which doesn't make it any less polarizing of a vehicle. My wife is not happy on buying a Cybertruck. She's <laughs> like, what are you going to do with this thing? You know? Yeah, right. But it's a niche vehicle. It really is a niche vehicle. It's not a real truck that truck people would buy. And that's right. what it really is. It's the a question is, are there just other people car. out there?